What's up YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Uh, today we're gonna do the last uh, episode in the solar powered surveillance camera. So here we are again, it's a nice beautiful morning and we're going to finish up the wiring and then um, get the uh, video feed live. So what, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the uh, Cat6 cable from the uh, Ubiquity Wi-Fi device and again, I I still have not tidied up this wiring I'll have to do that another time Find some kind of uh, the zip ties that I ordered didn't end up working their their garbage but Anyway uh, routing that up and into this power over Ethernet injector into the data outside which is the the side that provides the power and then route uh, wiring the data insides of these two together so that they will pass information back and forth but will not they don't need power and then um, the power outside of this is going to go up to the uh, the camera up here at the top I have to get something to stand on to reach up there but there on the bottom there's a little uh, grommet that the cable comes through and so we'll get it in there so I'll get everything finished wired up and then uh, we'll head into the, uh, well, well, we'll make sure that everything's working out here and then we'll head into the building to try to get this video feed live. Okay, so we got the wiring done and now we're looking at a live feed from the camera. Uh, I'm gonna have to um, do a couple things on the networking side because um, turns out I need to, I, I can't bridge this uh, Ubiquity Nano Station directly to our our Wi-Fi router inside the building. I have to bridge it to another uh, Ubiquity uh, station, uh, which I had planned on doing. I was just hoping to do this as an intermediate step. But anyway, I've got a. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but just over the top of that tree there, there's a big uh, electric pole, power pole, uh, wooden pole that we. Since we're a power line construction company, we put a power line uh, pole up and uh, I'm gonna be putting the other five cameras up on top of that as well as the uh, the other uh, Ubiquity uh, access point device. So anyway, I'll have to set that point to point um, network up later to get this actually live uh, as far as um, broadcasting to our office building. but. I have this hardwired in right now. I've got my laptop connected directly to the camera so you can see this live feed. Uh, this is a 720p camera so it's it's good resolution. The uh, the 1080p cameras are about double the price and I don't really feel that that's worth it. Um, this is good enough. It's got uh, infrared so it'll work at night. It has motion detection. Um, so you know I can configure it to only record when it when it uh, gets motion which it will get a lot because there's a freeway entrance ramp right here and there's a John Deere dealership right here so I'll have to play around with that later but I just wanted to show you that it is up it is running the power over Ethernet is working properly um, so let me give you a brief overview again of the wiring um, in case you're tuning in late or you're a little confused on everything okay so just a brief overview on the wiring uh, if you're comfortable with the wiring or you're just uh, bored and don't want to watch the rest this would be a good time to turn it off because we're just going to look at the wiring one more time so we have a solar panel here we have a red and a black wire positive and negative coming off of the back of the solar panel um, red on one side black on the other. We have some MC4 connectors that make that connection waterproof, weatherproof. Those uh, wires come down into this box through the bottom and then up and into the charge controller right here on the solar side of the charge controller. Then we have two cables on the battery side. Again, red and black for positive and negative and those are wired to the negative and positive terminals of this deep cycle battery. Um, finally, we have on the load side, we have again a red cable that goes into a breaker, and then which is a big, a fatter uh, red cable, 
and then two small red cables that come from the top. One goes into each side of these power over ethernet injectors. And then we have t the two uh, black negative wires come from the load side directly into the negative side of the power over ethernet injectors. So this is converting the power from 12 volt DC to I believe 48 volt DC uh, is what uh, the uh, the camera and the Ubiquiti Nano Station use. So that's why we're using this. Um, <clears throat> we also have, um, okay, so that takes care of the power side of things. Um, on the network side of things, we have a Ubiquiti Nano Station M5 that is going to create a point-to-point -point network to our building over there by way of that power pole there. So um, this is the power over the ethernet injector that takes care of the Ubiquiti Nano Station. So the data out port is the one that has the power injected into it. So that cable goes down through a grommet under the box out and up into this right here. That is then networked via this cable over to this power over ethernet injector just so that these two can communicate data back and forth. Um, and this power over ethernet injector is for the camera itself. So we've got a cable that goes from the out portion down through the grommet under the box and out all the way up the pole and into the bottom of the video camera. Um, which provides it with power and also transmits the data back and forth to the um, the access point. So that completes the uh, the build. I will, like I said, I'll tidy up the wires and then we will here in a couple weeks we'll probably do the other uh, installment or the installation of those cameras over there. I'm not going to do a step by step on that because I'll be up in a bucket truck and. Uh, you know most of it's going to be the same as what we did here, but uh, I will I will show you what it looks like when it's done and and you know So you can see the whole live feed of all the cameras and all that stuff and I have a uh, a DVR box here that uh, It's called uh, ubiquity unify is their their uh, series and uh, This video DVR is what will be the brains of the whole thing to to log the uh, the video um, from the cameras. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Sorry this is a little bit long, but uh, wanted to conclude this series and thanks for watching.